Almost 5,000 people have been arrested during Occupy protests across the U.S. so far, but even the police are starting to defect to the other side. Our correspondent Marina Portnoy has been finding out why some people have been choosing to make history instead of making arrests. Occupy Wall Street has become an undeniable American household name. And police crackdowns against the Democratic movement have become something of the norm. Not so normal is seeing one side endorse the other. Retired Philadelphia police captain Ray Lewis became the game changer on November 17th, arrested while demonstrating with Occupy protesters on the streets of New York City. The 24-year veteran was held in police custody for 11 hours and received one comment from a New York cop. Nobody talked to me. This one individual said that I had the um, testicles of an elephant. Although all of America's police force is part of the 99 percent, Captain Lewis says cops secretly supporting OWS face dire consequences by going public. Oh, a tremendous fear of losing their job, being disciplined, being fired. And then what do they do? Everybody in the 99 percent has that fear. And police officers also. They cannot risk. They have children. They have wives. They, what would they do? Once they're fired, there are no jobs available. The nighttime raid on Zuccotti Park and subsequent arrest of dozens of journalists covering the story are among many reasons Captain Lewis says he temporarily transplanted to Manhattan. That's, that's, that's close to dictatorship. When you exclude the media, that's what dictators around the world do. And that is very scary. Brutal scare tactics such as pepper spray, batons, and flash grenade canisters have been used against Occupy camps throughout the U.S. Oakland, California resembled something of an urban war zone this fall, leaving a war vet in critical condition and the eyes of an 84-year-old burning from tear gas. Oakland police officer Fred Chavez is the only active cop who's gone on record with his support. Like I totally agree with Occupy Wall Street, even to an extent with Occupy Oakland. I am a part of the 99%. For the most part, people are peaceful and they want to see change. Many believe the biggest change could come when or if U.S. law enforcement officials stop suppressing the right to assemble and begin supporting it. Despite his arrest, Captain Lewis is back at Zuccotti Park showing unwavering support for the Occupy movement. Standing roughly 10 or 15 feet away from him, a group of New York City police officers. Yes, they're here securing the area, but some are beginning to show a little interest. For the first time, I had an officer break ranks yesterday at the barricade line a white officer named Officer Murray, and he introduced himself and he started to ask me a few questions. I said, do you know the risk you're taking? And he was so brave that he said, hey, this is still America. And until a supervisor order, orders me back to the line, I'm going to talk with you. I hope to get mainstream America involved, the police involved, realizing that we're all victims of corporate America and that corporate America has got to be stopped. Marina Portnaya, RT. New York.